Hello, Felix from Nintendo Life here, and today we're here to review the adorable Kirby's Dream Buffet. This review was written by the stupendous PJ O'Reilly, but converted into video by me. So, what do you get if you take Fall Guys, add a pinch of Super Monkey Ball, and then mix in a lovely big dollop of Kirby? Well, a great big dream buffet, that's what. Kirby's Dream Buffet is a bright and breezy party game that sees a whole field full of Kirby characters roll down sweet treat laden tracks where the only objective is to get to the bottom first and lay claim to the largest mountains of strawberry when you get there. As you roll down courses composed of waffles, ice creams, eggs, bacon burgers, buns and lots of other stuff we'd really like to be eating right now, you'll gobble up strawberries as you go, each one slightly increasing Kirby's size, making you roll faster towards the final objective. Yes, bigger Kirby's roll faster, but on the flip side, a smaller Kirby can hover for longer, making it easier to come back on track when you're inevitably blasted off by a rival. To make things even tastier, as you race down these courses, you'll bust open Mario Kart style item boxes containing copy abilities. There are currently 8 of these in total, allowing you to slam your rivals with a stone attack, ingest a hot pepper to go blazing off on a fiery turbo boost that incinerates anyone in your path, initiate an ice cream tornado, turn into a speeding donut wheel, and even drill under the surface to avoid all incoming obstacles. But that's not all. In order to spice things up even more, the game's main mode, Gourmet Grand Prix, sees the action sliced into four delicious stages. Things kick off with a regular race down one of the several different tracks, gobbling up strawberries as you go. Then after, you'll take part in a minigame that charges you with barreling around a small arena attempting to eat more strawberries than everyone else, whilst avoiding various obstacles such as great big exploding cake bombs. Yeah. <laughs> Once you're done here, it's on to another race, and then when you finish that race, it's time for the final battle royale, where you're given one more chance to come out on top of the strawberry gobbling leaderboard by nabbing as many as you can while blasting off opponents out of this small arena with your copy abilities. Knock your rival off screen here, and you'll cause them to lose a bunch of strawberries whilst you get a nice big fluty bonus. At the end of the round, the four players are slapped onto a set of scales, bonus strawberries are awarded for feasts, such as longest time spent hovering during a match, and the winner is revealed. Much confetti is in the air, and the distribution of the game's cute collectibles and unlockable items take place. You've got costumes, or different Kirby colors, and new music tracks for races to gather up as you raise your gourmet rank with XP. With 135 gourmet rank levels to wipe through, it's gonna take some serious strawberry munching to see through to the end. Kirby's Dream Buffet is super fun and frantic stuff. It's easy to understand, a breeze to get the grips with, and really comes alive when you jump online or play with a real life friend in split screen. Unfortunately, you can't play four player split screen, which is a real shame, because in the marketing and trailers it really looked like it would be a perfect game for that feature, but maybe that's something we can expect in a future update. The whole thing looks and sounds fantastic too, with colourful visuals, detailed courses and the usual triumphant Kirby music to accompany the roly-poly action. In terms of modes, you got Gourmet Grand Prix, single races, single minigames, single battle royale, and a free rolling practice area to play around with, and all of these can be enjoyed single player against three bots, two player split screen with another pal sharing your Switch's Joy Cons, in four player online ranked mode with three random opponents, or with your friends in a password match. You can also take part in an up to four player local play mode, although that requires separate Switch consoles and copies of that game to jump into. As far as our expectations with split screen and online have gone, we've been really impressed with how smooth things run with two players. The action here is fast and frantic stuff that barrels you down some good looking courses and we haven't noticed any slowdown or frame rate issues. Online has also been quick and easy to jump into with plenty of players already in the mix and they are hungry for competition. We have experienced a little slowdown here and there at points in the online races, but it's never been serious enough to cause any major issues with controlling our Kirby's as we roll towards our strawberry goals. 
We've encountered over 16 courses in total in the game so far, so there's certainly plenty of variety in terms of tracks and arenas here too. However, if we did add one slight complaint, there could be a little more in terms of tricky obstacles to bypass as you blast down these race courses. Beyond the odd breakable wall or thin piece of track, we haven't really come across anything to really make us stop or have to consider how to advance. Although we guess that's not really the point here, and the job of concentrating on gobbling up as many strawberries as you can whilst taking care of the opponents with copy abilities is still plenty chaotic enough to make every race feel like a good time. Kirby's Dream Buffet arrives on Switch at a nice budget price too, with plenty of collectibles to work your way towards earning and online slash split screen modes that are working at treat so far as we've experienced. This is a great little party game that's hard to find fault with. If you're in the mood for a bright and breezy Kirby flavoured affair that's easy to pick up and play, we suggest you slap on the napkin and dive right in. We here at Nintendo Life give Kirby's Dream Buffet an 8 out of 10. Now with the review done, it's time for Felix's personal thoughts. Because first off, no 4 player split screen. That is a deal breaker for me, and I know it will be for a lot of other people. The game is phenomenal, don't get me wrong, but it really seemed like in the promotional material that you would be able to play this for players as a perfect party game, but it's only two players, and while it's great all fun, it just loses the potential to be that game that you play when your friends comes over. Just, yeah, that's just a bit disappointing. But a good thing on the contrary though is the rumble features in the controller. Now I know this might not be significant for people, but if you try the game the rumble is always there when you roll and it just feels amazing and adds just that extra bit of spiciness. Also, Kibi. Kibi. All in all, this is a really great game. The price point is fantastic and the action here is really fun. It can get a tad bit repetitive, but that's beside the point. If you can get past the lack of 4 player split screen, definitely give this game a go. Also, giant Kirby. You, you can't really compete with that, can you? If you like this video, why don't you bounce your way over to that subscribe button and give it a nice little adorable click. And also don't forget to check out our website nintendolife.com for all sorts of Nintendo related content. Stay safe, play some Kirby's Dream Buffet, Felix from Nintendo Life, out. Oh, what?